Well, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to one wet, just <laughs> miserable uh, Wednesday the 26th. Man, it is nasty out here. It's been raining like this since shortly after we got home. It was nice almost all day last night. Did it start raining on the way home? I don't remember. Yeah, it, it turned nasty and the rain was a pounding. Old Danny out here hanging with me. Goofball. My old buddy. Anyway, welcome to the day. Hope you guys, and thank you guys for the massive um, Merry Christmas uh uh, comments on the on the videos. I haven't even looked at Facebook yet. I can imagine what's over there. But uh, thank you guys very very much. You guys are too dang nice. The very first day I rode uh, rode the Rikers. I rode two of them the same day. The the only two that we have at the moment. I guarantee you they're. I think one of them might have left on uh, Christmas Eve. I'm not sure. Um, anyway. In comments and emails, I'm getting bombarded with this stuff. Um, picture, if you will. Ignore the fact that this is a two-wheeled motorcycle, not a three-wheeled motorcycle. And the obvious, it's a Harley, not a Can-Am, Spider, or Riker. Or just generally speaking, a Can-Am Roadster. This is your Spider. Maybe not an RT. You'd probably have to have, you know, the fixed fairing road glide ultra or something you know the whole touring pack thing that would be more of an equivalent to an rt so we'll look at the street glide special as maybe an f3 f3s something or f3t an f3t would probably be an equivalent so here's your roadster spider now imagine if you will the either one of these well, let's look at it this way. This is the road or the uh, Riker 900, and this is the Riker 600, 883 Sportster, 1200 Sportster. Totally different motorcycles. This is an around town, maybe a day trip, which is not to say you couldn't tour on it, but if you two up this thing, you know, add a passenger seat, like you can on the Riker and you could add bags to it like you can on a Riker. You can add shields to it like you can on a Riker. You can make it more comfortable, but it's never going to replace the Street Glide Special. It's never going to replace a Road Glide, and never is it going to replace a Spider. Kelly and I were talking, like I said, Kelly and I were talking about this, and we knew this was coming, that immediately the people that can't afford or don't want to spend thirty thousand dollars on an rt is going wow the most expensive riker is ten thousand dollars unless you opt for the rally version which is that's more of a dual sport kind of a riker those are 11 something but <laughs> the spider and the riker are two different two different vehicles they're both can-am roadster series one's a riker one's a spider this one's highly refined super comfortable this thing weighs about a thousand and twenty pounds a Riker is what 560 550 somewhere around there um, you're talking half the weight of, I would say total mass probably less than half the size of this RT you're not gonna replace a spider if that's what you want with a, a a less expensive Riker. The Riker, think of the Riker as like a bobber style sportster. Super fun, one of the funnest things you ever ride, just like these two bikes here. Super fun. I'm actually more apt to take one of these things out ripping around for the day than I will my Street Glide. And as you guys watch the videos, you know that's exactly what I do. This one I can just whip out of the garage, throw a backpack on, a helmet, and roll out. The street glide, you know, I gotta, you know, gotta be careful, navigate her out because she's big, she's heavy. Super fun, but not that kind of fun. Not ripping around fun. Not goofing off fun. This is like serious, comfortable luxury. Serious, 
comfortable luxury. The Riker is like a bobber like the Sportsters over there. So don't don't get yourself confused. Both of them have a purpose and both of them are extremely fun. But if you're looking for comfort touring, if you're looking for a budget version of a spider to replace a spider, the Riker's not it. You wouldn't, if you want a street glide special, you're not gonna buy a Sportster. You understand what I'm saying? Stop comparing the two. I keep going, hearing all these questions comparing the two. There is no comparison. The only thing that's equivalent is they're both Can-Am uh, Roadsters and they both roll on three wheels. From there, it's Sportster versus Street Glide kind of a deal. So don't get that confused. I What we, we talk about is we think that Probably everyone that owns an RT is probably going to buy a Riker for those day trips and go ripping around town, go rip to the store, you know, those little solo rides that, that you want to do. You don't want to lug out your big old RT when you can jump on the Riker and just ride with a huge smile on your face. So they have each have their own place. So don't try to compare the two because they're totally different vehicles. All right. Did that sound like a rant? It wasn't a rant. I just don't want you guys to get confused. I don't want you to get your hopes up that you can buy a $10,000 Spider because you're not. You're buying a $10,000 Riker. So, there we are. Let me add a little something that I, I um, overlooked or didn't explain uh, about the locks. You know, I do the 3-1s, 3-2s, and 3-3s. And then once, you know, I know the key, which I know, I'll put the top row here and then the lower row here in the order that they go and uh you know do that light grease and put them together but when you're trying to figure them out i stuck this in a non-used hole so you have an idea but use the number two key first like with this one that's a number two so i can tell by the way that's protruding out of the, out of the bottom that a um, a number one would be what I would use. So use the two as your starting point. That way you have a good starting point. That way you're not, you're not going, you know, try the one, try the two, try the three to see which one works. Start with the number two because it's going to be halfway. One's going to stick down further. One extreme sticks down further. The other extreme sticks up further. So you'll, you'll figure that out as you're going through. Some of you guys have talked about doing your own bags. Somebody was talking about doing their Kawasaki bags and didn't have instructions. Those instructions, um, if your dealer doesn't know this, are readily available for those keys for the Kawasaki supplied accessories. Actually, it's even part of the PDI instructions for them. Um, if your dealer doesn't know how to find them, uh, PM me some way and I'll uh, I'll I'll explain to you so you can explain to them where to get it. I think there might even be a customer accessible side. So I'll look into that. No, don't try to fight these things with no instructions. That's crazy. I mean, you can figure it out. I mean, if you've got any sense, you can figure it out. It's, it's pretty obvious. One key doesn't fit and the other one does. The Kawasaki locks, by the way, I think those are Jibby bags is who's making that for Kawasaki. Those are more complicated than these. So, anyway, just a little tidbit of extra information. All right, so this is how I lay them out. I got the top row, the lower row, the springs. Got one bag left. I'm always like astonished at the quality and workmanship in these bags. So, <gasps> Danny, it's a wonder these things are so freaking expensive. There's three pieces to the bag besides the mount you got the lid and then there's a you know a bucket at the bottom and that thing's recessed in here you know and then they look at the amount of rivets they use to put that bucket around to mount it to the bag and then it's in it's just packed with silicone in that seam and you can tell it must all ooze out because they wipe it all off <laughs> but uh keeps it nice and watertight let me open it here right quick I can do this with one hand. But look at the reinforcement and stuff around the the lid of this thing. I mean, these things are just meant to have the holy heck beat out of them. So you can see the bucket down the bottom. 
and where the silicone oozed up out of that as well. I try to make them nice and watertight. Then you can see down here if I can get that to it. You can see that these are built by a Turatec. They're built in Germany. Four BMW under, you know, as they do, very strict BMW rules. And boy, are they strict. Holy moly. They are very proud of their of their stuff. And the price and the quality reflects just that. I love it when companies are like that. That way, okay. The woman says, love you too. Be careful. She says, I done spent too much time out here playing around the garage. She says, I'm leaving you. Believe it or not, she still forgot something at the store. Went to Walmart's two days in a row, I think it was, wasn't it? Or went to Red Apple one day, I don't remember. Anyway, she's gonna take off. She forgot hamburger buns and I think coffee. <laughs> it's like, how do you forget the coffee? No, oh, we gotta do a mail call with you guys too. I'm probably running out of time for doing that today. It is dreary out here. Holy moly. Look at that. Isn't that not beautiful? Those handles on top of there are so useful. We've got the little instruction things. You know, I was telling you about, you know, make sure the BMW is facing out. Well, I don't know what I was thinking. I was thinking that the clips were different or they are from one side to the other but when you flip them they become the same so if you were to get them wrong just unclip the four clips and stick them back on <laughs> look how useful these things are you can get a great big old duffel bag underneath there and things have a lot of i mean they stretch out quite a bit look how much extra slack is here and if you notice i have them zigzagged right now that's to give them some memory for the creases and then i'll come back after a little bit and I'll undo them and I'll like roll them you know flat starting with the end and coming coming back otherwise they uh, after a while they start fanning like that but they had memory from when they were in the package and I just zigzag them so it'll have the nice creases so I can just go whoop, just roll them up stick them in there look nice and neat really neat yeah isn't that wonderful beautiful Emerson bad looking bags <laughs> and that black fits that HP so well I absolutely love it alrighty a little woman should be coming back here any moment if she don't I'm gonna get real concerned I might be doing a rain ride <laughs> nope she's a phone call away alright well hello there YouTube <laughs> how's everybody doing this day after Christmas did everyone survive? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Hope you guys had a had a great Christmas. And like I said at the beginning, thank you guys very much for all the Merry Christmas. And, yeah, that was uh, amazingly like sweet. Crazy. Uh, I like how some people goes, "Well, I watched you on Christmas Day because your family." <laughs> That's yes. cool. You guys are way too awesome. You are like this huge interweb family. Yeah, aren't we? I know it. It becomes more than that, you know, you kind of, you just kind of get wrapped into it and, I don't know, you just become part of each other's lives, yeah. you know, which is kind of cool. So, anyway, got the bags done on the BMW, which I wanted to get done. It drive me nuts and locks or, I hate little tedious, um, repetitious things like that. Yeah, it Those little things crazy. like that drives me crazy. <laughs> I know it's just eight little locks, but still, things like, it just works on me to get it done, you know. Yeah. But they're all hooked up, and ready to go. Now I gotta, I don't want to ride them in the rain and get them all Dirty. nasty. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, uh oh. Well, Same with for a dry day. Yeah. Same with the bike. Riding the bike in the rain. You know, I've it was wet when I, I think when I brought it home it got wet, or I don't know when I got it wet. I got caught in the rain at some point. Oddly enough, it didn't do anything to the bike at all. Oh, that's good. Yeah, just little spots here and there. So, I think it went for a ride. Oh, it's when I went to Chehalis. Oh, and back. yeah. I did daily vlog and a motor vlog and that thing. It just didn't get dirty at all. I think it rained so much that 
I don't know, clean the roads off or something. Or yeah. a road in areas where the log trucks don't go, you know? Yeah, no kidding. Now yeah. it's all really wet and really nasty. Yeah. And just filthy. Though. I was kind of hoping today was going to be somewhat nice. I think there was a possibility that it might have been like a 20 or 30% chance of rain. A lot of times you can, you can sneak out on that. Yeah. But today, did it ever even get over 40 today? I think it hit 41. Man, them mountains are going to be so thick with snow. Oh, yeah. I bet you, I don't know what the snow level is, like what it's been, it can't be more than 1,000, 1,500 feet. Yeah. And it's probably white Christmas up in them areas. I know it. We might have to take a drive. Yeah, drive we'll up see in the hills. See if we can see the white stuff. Find the snow. Yep, find the snow. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you guys understand what I'm saying about the spider versus Riker. I'm not bad-mouthing either one. I just don't want you guys to get confused and think you're going to turn a Riker into a spider. It's They're the, two different entities. Yeah. Uh, just just keep in your head that a spider is more like a luxury touring bike and the uh, the Riker is more like a sportster. A yeah, FCO more. 7, that kind of a small go rip around and just have the time of your life type of bike. Yeah. You know, you're not that, you're not going to turn that thing into a touring bike. No, because it's not going to change the bike. You know, you can add a little storage, but it's not the same. Yeah, bike. It's just small yeah. thing. The rear seat is, you know, in the Harley world, they call that a half hour seat. You know, yeah. you don't be taking your wife on any long rides on that thing at all. No. Yeah. <laughs> put a put a little, you know. Small seat on the back of a sports car, take it for a ride. That's gonna be the about same thing, you know. Yeah. Really fun, but it's not any great distance. But Danny, Danny, what are you doing? Shh, shh, shh. Trying to get Leo to come down and play. But anyway, uh, again, I'm not bad mouthing you the bike. I just don't no. want you guys. Uh, I get by the questions I'm getting. People are thinking they're gonna turn a Riker into a spider, and it's just two different apples and oranges. Just yeah. think of it that way. Yep, different, and, different bikes. And in that. You really should have a Riker. I know what I want one, I Dad. think there's going to be one in our garage before it's all over. Yeah. I'm going to hold out for a rally, though. Mm. A little higher off the ground, a little more aggressive. And yeah. There you go. Cool stuff. I know it. Too many cool machines. Oh, yeah. Have. Oh, man. There's so many cool motorcycles I out. I know it. It would not be a good time to be a millionaire because... Yeah, you, we wouldn't be, be a millionaire anymore. Not for long, no. <laughs> nope. <laughs> anyway... Cold and heck out here. I'm it gonna is. Roll on in. Alrighty. Well, we really do appreciate you guys watching. Yeah. I totally goofed that up. That's not how I say it. <laughs> I didn't Thank even you know guys. where you're going. I know it. Thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up. And you guys have a wonderful Thursday or Friday. Heck yeah. Right, Mama. All freeze. right. I know it My is cold. My hands going to start shaking yeah, here in a minute. Go, it's going to start it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All Thank right, you guys, you guys very take much. Take care. Bye-bye now. Bye.